So once I've opened up the log, we're gonna be able to see all the channels are gonna be relevant that are actually being logged in this particular example here. So we can see that we have our, uh, anything that's highlighted, that's uh, open and able to be viewed, there's gonna be an actual uh, point of operation that we're gonna be logging in our channel. So we can see some things are grayed out. This uh, short-term knock and the long-term knock values are grayed out because I haven't added those to my actual channels list and my data log. We're gonna be going over all this in the data log specific video, but um, just be aware that if you don't add them, you're not gonna be able to do anything. You're not gonna be able to see what's going on. So if we look here and we trace through, we can see that our uh, trace window has a bunch of data that's gonna be able to be viewed here and look at it. We can see our RPM here is in the red. We can see that our mat pressure here is in the blue. This was a supercharged S2000, so our mat pressure is going up with engine RPM. We can see our ignition vans here is in the green. Our knock signal or that raw knock voltage coming in here is this tan trace that's all spiky. And then finally our knock level display. That's in purple, which is not displayed because I was not logging it. Unfortunately, I didn't add it to my, my channels list here, so it wasn't being displayed for this purpose. But what we need to pay attention to right now is this knock signal. We can see that this knock signal is super spiky right here, then kind of settles out and it gets spiky again. Um, this look of our knock voltage might indicate that we have some kind of knock going on. So we can see here our green lines are spark timing. It jumps from a lower value. It looks like it jumps up to a higher value and then keeps going. This is going to most likely be because we go from the low to high cam operation right here in this range. And we can see once we settle into the high cam, the voltage started to pick up and get spiky here. And again, that could mean that we have knock. So if I saw this, even though my knock level display may not be picking up and going above 120, if I have my threshold table filtered too high, I might be ignoring this knock condition going on. So what I would do in this case, if I had it not displaying any knock level display, I'd go into my spark timing table,